This dolly that we're using here with this combination is really unique. But rather than me try to explain it, I'll go to a guy who really knows road trains far better. He's, he's forgotten more about road trains than I'll ever know. And that's Bill Manton from Volvo Group Australia. Tell me what makes this dolly so special and where'd it come from? All right, <coughs> so basically the biggest difference between the, the a normal dolly we see today on the road compared to this one is basically there's no pivot point in the A-frame. Freighter built the dolly for the ATA Council and uh, it was a concept of, you know, from Bob Woodward, there's a concept as far as uh, handling goes. So they took the pivot point out of the, out of the drawbar, so it's solid right from the, from the, um, you know, from the pull right through the taillights. It's a solid bar, a solid chassis, and the suspension does all the work and then the turntable pivot does all the work. So it takes out all the kicking so at the front of the cab, there's no kicking at all. So we felt coming up to here so far, over all that rough stuff, there's no kicking behind the trailers, forcing that cab to go rock back and forwards. Given that this is a maiden voyage for Volvo's new XXL cab and a VAV quad yep. we're running up here, were you apprehensive about using this compared to a traditional dolly? I had probably mixed emotions whether it was going to be any good or not. Uh, I really didn't know whether it was going to be any better with the handling, like conventional dollies tend to kick out a little bit of movement there, uh, which you know, creates a bigger movement down yeah. the back of the, of the road trains. Um, certainly, um, I, I didn't know which way I was going to go. And I really honestly thought that we would get wear marks here at the ring feeder where the dolly eye is. So where the eye pull is, I would have thought we had worn paint by now over those rough roads. But absolutely, there's no mark at all there. So there's no movement inside that you know, ring feeder to cause any wear. So your first impression is a hugely positive one? Oh, it, is. it just handles so much better. Mm. Like on that rough stuff around the Witten area, um, even the tracking between Cloncurry, Mount Isa, and the rough bitumen on the border side of the Northern Territory, um, it just handles so much better than a conventional dolly. So it's impressed both of us really, hasn't it? You know? Oh, it has, Steve, yeah. And I've got to say, seriously, um, driving this truck, the, the tracking of the tracking performance of this combination has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, for four trailers at 53 metres long, 120 odd tonne, just been sensational. It just follows you like a follows you like a loyal dog. And uh, yeah, but anyway, thanks, Bill. Appreciate the information. No Thank you. you. All right.